Hey, my name is Anthony. I'm the training specialist with Henry's Camera, and here are some weird Canon facts you probably didn't know. Canon's first Quanon camera actually used Nikon lenses, but it was the first focal plane based shutter designed in 1936 and came into production in 1945. When you press the shutter button prior to this camera being released, a curtain would open and then the curtain would close exposing the sensor and then creating an image. This sucked because you literally couldn't photograph anything moving too quickly and freeze motion. And that's why all of these old family photos, everyone looks like like a stiff cardboard cutout. They, they, they look they just look pissed off it's it's quite funny to to go back and look at some of those old photos but it's not because people were angry it's because you couldn't move too much or you'd be blurry so this focal plane based shutter exposed the sensor in sections with curtains traveling across the sensor and allowed those cameras to shoot at higher shutter speeds such as like 1 500th of a second more shutters were added traveling vertically down the sensor and that's how a camera was able to get one photo at a time but shoot at faster shutter speeds and that is all thanks to Canon. When you look at cameras today uh, you see all these different modes like shutter priority, aperture priority and of course manual mode. This is all standard stuff now but who did priority modes first? In the 1970s, Canon introduced something that would once again make taking pictures easier and the end result more consistent. It was the Canon AE-1. That was the first camera to have shutter priority. And inside the viewfinder, the camera would measure the light within the scene, and then it would tell you the aperture required to get the correct exposure. This is a feature that new photographers learning the basics still rely heavily on today when learning some of those manual controls. So it's no wonder why Canon cameras are often the most purchased beginner cameras. So most of our core brands have been around over a hundred years. And, those, and over those years, some of those brands have made some really weird stuff. This socket was what formed the company Panasonic. A robot dog called Abo was made by Sony in 1999. And one of the many potential COVID vaccines was made by Fujifilm in 2021. The Canola 130. This was the world's first 10 key electronic calculator that it was about the size of a toaster. But guess who made this George Foreman sized calculator? Uh, well, that would be Canon. Just imagine walking around and being like, so, um, your total will be $13.94. And I forgot to clean out the toaster before doing that. <laughs> oh boy. Well, hit the like button if you learned something today and let me know what brands we should look into next. My name's Anthony and I'll see you in the next one.